take a square, draw the diagonal. This will create a right triangle and cut these angles in half, meaning each of these angles are 45 degrees. What's the hypotenuse? Use the Pythagorean theorem. We have x squared plus x squared equals c squared, or 2x squared equals c squared. Square root both sides. Square root of 2 is square root of 2. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of c squared is c. Therefore, c is equal to x root 2, which is the hypotenuse. If we focus on the angles, the three angles are 45, 45, and 9 degrees for this triangle. In terms of the sides, we have the leg to be x, another leg to be x, and the hypotenuse to be x root 2. Meaning, if you're given the leg, you can multiply by square root of 2 to get the hypotenuse. So how do we use this? If one leg is 3, the other leg must be 3, and the hypotenuse is 3 root 2. If the leg is 1 half, the other leg is 1 half, and the hypotenuse is 1 half root 2. If the leg is root 2, the other leg is root 2, and the hypotenuse is root 2 times root 2, which simplifies to 2. And if the leg is root 3, the other leg is root 3, the hypotenuse is square root 3 times root 2, which is square root of 6. But what if we're given the hypotenuse instead, and we want to find the leg? Well, instead of multiplying root 2, to go backwards, we're going to divide by root 2. Or multiply by 1 over root 2, or if you rationalize it, multiply by square root of 2 over 2. Meaning, if the hypotenuse is 10 root 2, then if we divide by root 2, then the other leg must be 10 and 10. Well, if the hypotenuse is 10, to get the other leg, we're going to multiply by root 2 over 2. So the other leg is going to be root 10 times root 2 over 2, which simplifies to 5 root 2. Come like, subscribe. Thank you.